Hey everyone, I just wanted to do one more video on a little bit deeper involved of how the grading actually happens in our assignments. So we basically have four types of assignments that kind of pop up, maybe five. Uh, we have things that are called benchmarks. Those you can kind of think of as just typical uh, assignments. There's, that's basically like your homework. Guides are where I walk through with you step by step uh, with how to use our software. And certificates is kind of like a culmination overview of the entire section. Uh, so those are kind of our different things that we see every single section. At the end of a core, we oftentimes will have, we have a core report. There are some reports that we have to do. And then the only other thing that we have left are our examinations. Uh, so those are kind of the things that, that, you're, that you will see. And let's go inside and actually kind of do one of these benchmarks real quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the benchmarks and the type of data. And I'm going to just go ahead and click resume. And I had already started working on some of these. And I can go through and, you know, kind of click my answers. I can say submit. And anyway, some of them are wrong. Some of them are right. And you can just kind of go through. Now, let's see what happens if I change my answers here. So let's see if I do DNF and I have, I got a little bit of a score. Each time you attempt a question, uh, the first attempt, there's no penalty. The second attempt, it takes like 15% 15, uh, 15 off, and then it'll take another 15% off, and eventually, um, but you can keep retrying it. Now, what you can also do is you can retry and get a similar question, and you can start from ground zero again. So if we say like ordinal, and nominal, those are types of categorical. So nominal, they have no, order, so let's say categories of no natural order, and ordinal categories have some natural order. We'll do F and we'll click submit. So now in this question two, the first time I did really bad at it, and the second time I was able to get 100%. And I did that on purpose. The benchmarks are meant so that you can, if you are persistent and you work through, you can basically get 100% on all of your benchmarks, and the guide is the, the same way. Now the certificates on the other hand, uh, those are, I think you are able to attempt a couple of times, uh, but when you take your deductions, those deductions are final. Okay, so that's kind of what we see here. And if we submit this thing, um, so, you know, we submitted our questions. If I say done, it'll give you kind of an overview of how you did. If you want to do better on, you know, a specific question, you can go back to, you know, question three. So I'll click resume. And we can go to question three. We saw that we did poorly here. I can just click like C there. I still did poorly. I can click at a similar question and it switches things up. Anyhow, so you can go over and try to get the like the grade that you're wanting. Okay, the other thing that we can do, uh, just once again, uh, let's go to our review. If we go back to here, we can click use a late pass if we want to use a late pass and make it um, give us a 72 hour extension. So I'm just gonna click here. It bumps it over there once again. And then uh, when things are all done, when it's past the due date, uh, you can go into the grade book and you can click on your score. That'll actually let you see your exact score that you got. Uh, but then you could also click on it and says like uh, do for practice and that's a really good a tool as you're getting ready for the exams and go back and practice some things uh, that you didn't do very well on. Uh, so anyhow there is how you kind of go through and how the scoring is done and you redo those assignments uh, once they are past the due date you can come into your benchmark click on the assignment number and you can go back through and get some help. So anyhow, that's how that happens. Uh, once again, past the due date, uh, when you go into your gradebook and you click on it, uh, you can also see all of the right answers. So it will go through all the right answers. On some of like the certificates and the guides, it'll give a detailed solution so that you can get like some even uh, more detailed help. And if you need even more explanation from that, uh, you can always send me an email and I'd be happy to help you out. So anyhow, that's how kind of our assignment grading